Greetings Cabot Cove Clubbers and a very warm welcome to all the new subscribers I've gained since I announced Murder She Rope Day. I'm very excited. What are you going to do to celebrate? I hope that some of you will be joining me for the Angela Lansbury workout. It's very easy. Uh, it's a very gentle workout and it's lots of fun. So do tune in. I think I'm doing that at five o'clock on the 19th of May, which is Murder She Wrote Day this year. First one, but now and forever. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, and then watch party at, watch party at seven. I'll double check all this. Let me get my times right. Five o'clock and seven o'clock. And in between that, I'm going to be having a tangerine twist cocktail. So when I wrote Murder She Cooked, which I know some of you have, um, I, collect, I was collecting, I've been collecting movie star recipes for over 25 years. There's 10 of Angela Lansbury's favourite recipes in here. I'm doing video demos for all of those for you guys and loads and loads of other stars' favourite recipes. There you go, I just opened it at Ron May Sachs Taco Salad Ole! So, Mort Metzger, <laughs> the actor who played him. I think he was quite a good cook because his recipes are good. So some of you have this, maybe you'll be cooking something from it on Murder, She Wrote Day. I hope so. There are prizes. I'm going to be giving away a copy of the book. If you've already got one and you win, I will send it to the person of your choice. Um, there will also be a Cabot Cove Club badge and there's a Cabot Cove key ring up for grabs. I only got 10 of these made, so these are a precious commodity, my friends. Um, so yes, there are prizes to be had and really all you need to do is just leave me a comment, put a message on social media, tag me in, anything about what you're doing on Murder, She Wrote Day and then I'm going to do a prize draw. Uh, there will be prizes at the watch party as well. So it's a big day. A murder she wrote fan so tell everyone you know who's a murder she wrote fan so i thought i would do a demo of the tangerine twist cocktail for you so when i was writing the book just before i thought i'd finished it my friend sam said are there any cocktails in the book and i said no there aren't and then i thought um i could invent a cocktail so i invented a cocktail called the tangerine twist and it's named after a lipstick that was a clue in a Murder, She Wrote episode. I'm sure many of you know which one. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but I think after this watch party on the 19th of May, I think that episode I'm going to do next as a watch party because I love that episode. So the guy who made the lipstick said he wanted a colour that was not too orangey, not too pink. So that is the theme I've gone for with the Tangerine Twist cocktail. So I'm going to show you how to make an alcoholic one, but if you don't drink, it's very easy to make a non-alcoholic one. And I'll talk you through that too. If you can get tangerine juice, perfect. Um, I've never seen it for sale in cartons here and I don't have a juicer. But if you live somewhere where tangerines are plentiful and you have a juicer, then go for it, I say. We can get clementine juice here, or is it clementine juice? I don't know. Clementine, clementine, I do not know. So I did buy some of that for the demo, but I also happen to have some orange juice already open. So really, any orange coloured juice is fine. And quantities are basically half your orange juice of choice and half Prosecco or whatever fizzy beverage you would like to use. Champagne, if you're feeling flush. Uh, Prosecco, 
You could use, if you wanted to do a non-alcoholic version, you could use sparkling kombucha. Uh, you could use fizzy water, you know. So it's an orange juice, fizzy beverage of your choice combination. And if you're going to do an alcoholic version, leave a little gap in the top of your glass for room for your, uh, for your spirit of choice, which I'll talk about. So a little bit of orange juice. This is a very nice bottle of Prosecco that my lovely neighbours, Kelly and Graham, gave me for my birthday. I'm surprised, that was a few months ago. I'm surprised it's still here. That's been in the fridge, getting nice and cold. It had a cork in it which I think is unusual for Prosecco. And there was a moment there when I thought I wasn't going to be able to get the cork out, <laughs> which had been a slight disaster, but I did it through force of will. Now, in the book, if you're making an alcoholic one, I suggest Pestavine, if you can get hold of that. Apricot, apricot brandy liqueur is also good, although that's quite sweet. But today I'm using apricot brandy. So this is a bit harder to get than apricot brandy liqueur, but it's in a Joan Crawford cocktail. So I got some of this for that and I'm going to try it in the tangerine twist tonight. You know what? Let's measure it. <laughs> Let's not just chuck it in. So I'm just going to use a, a small measure. Spill in a bit of that. And then quarter of a teaspoon of grenadine, which is the pinky bit. Now grenadine is super sweet and you have to be really careful not to add too much of it to drinks. I've made this mistake in the past before um, because it's super, super sweet. So I've said in the book, a quarter of a teaspoon. So pop that in and what that does is because it's heavier, than the juice because of its sugar content, it will drop to the bottom. So it makes it look like a two color cocktail. Then the finishing touch is a couple of drops of orange bitters, if you have such a thing. Um, these are usually, usually alcoholic. I don't know if you can get non-alcoholic bitters. I do not know, but probably. I've put quite a few drops in there because I like bitters. I prefer a savoury drink to a sweet drink. So I quite like the sort of um, bitter note they bring. And finishing touch, a couple of cherries on the obligatory uh, cocktail umbrella. This just reminds me of the 80s when cocktails made a comeback, at least here in Britain. There were cocktail bars everywhere. There were more cocktail bars than pubs in my memory, that was when I was going out and starting drinking. So yeah, reminds me of the 80s. So there you have it. I don't know whether you can see the not too orange, not too pink. You give it a bit of a stir with your cherries, impart a little bit of that maraschino cherry flavor. Right, let's have a taster. I'm gonna put that down for, so I don't poke myself in the eye. Cheers. Here's to Murder, She Wrote Day. Was there anything else I was going to tell you? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's nice with the apricot brandy. I think what I like about apricot brandy compared to this and apricot brandy liqueurs in general is that these are much sweeter, but these just smell more smell more authentic you know if you can get homemade apricot brandy that would be amazing this is barak palinka i think it's polish so i got that on the internet so my friends i hope you will enjoy murder she wrote today indulge yourself you know watch your favorite re favorite episode or have a marathon Start watching it from the beginning. Watch the pilot episode with the excellent Anne Francis. Good gazpacho recipe in the book if you're somewhere hot. Um, yeah, dress up like Jessica Fletcher. Solve some crimes. Put your Jessica Fletcher t-shirt on. Slob around in it all day. Do whatever you like. 
but let me know what you do. Send me photos if you think to take any because I love getting photos and I'll put them on the blog. So if you send me any photos, I will put them on the newsletter, I mean. So thanks to all of you who've signed up to the Murder She Cook Substack. I hope you'll find lots of fun to be had there. If you think of anything you'd like me to do, just let me know. I'm going to do some cooking demos, more watch parties, all sorts of fun. And yeah, join me for the workout if you fancy it. You can just, if you like, you can just watch me doing it. I'll be in the shadows. <laughs> I know I'm not going to be huffing and puffing in front of the camera, or I might be. So yes, I think that's five o'clock on Instagram. Anyway, that's enough from me. Enjoy your tangerine twist if you make one. I've called the non-alcoholic version the Jessica Fletcher's Chained to the Typewriter cocktail. Because sometimes you need to do some work. <laughs> You can't be drinking cocktails all the time. Anyway, cheers my lovelies. Have fun on the 19th of May and let me know what you get up to. Cheerio for now.